Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explain. Today we're going to take a look at apples, pears, apple juice, and apple wine. But before that, this video is brought to you by Rabbit Rob. Thank you for being a farm baron. So we are down here at the orchard, which is where we were for yesterday's beehive video. We also have an orchard over here just beside the sheep. And you may not be aware, but there are a few fruit trees over here at the main farm. But we're going to spend most of our time here in this particular orchard. So we have apple trees. We might have some pear trees over here. I know we do definitely have some pear trees over by the sheep farm. And we have brought over our barrels that we made earlier this week. And they are stored inside of here. Now, some other things that we have purchased is we have purchased the Juice Master. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. So if we go to objects and production equipment, we have the Juice Master, $1,500. This is what's going to press our apples into apple juice. And then we will have to take our barrels of apple juice. We can either sell them or convert them into apple wine for even more money. That's right. Now, other things you may need for your collection of apples and pears. So we have this big box which can be used to transport fruit or vegetables. It is a reusable box. In fact, we have several of these that come in new farmer mode that are already set up as green. We have bulk, or we can set them up as lettuce, tomato, red pepper, apples and pears. You can see we have the labels that show up. You might also want to get apple fruit crates. Now this only holds 39 kilograms where this one holds uh, I believe 300 or 350. And that is pretty much it. Now in new farmer mode, this armor track, the front loader arms, the forks, this little flatbed trailer and these five totes are basically included with new farmer mode. So we're going to make use of this tractor since it's already over here. And the way we pick our apples is pretty straightforward. So we'll pull our tote underneath the apple tree. So I get out of the tractor, pop up here on the trailer, go to our F1 menu, and look, we have a start filling. You just hit R and you'll see the apples are picked off the tree and placed into the tote. Our use of object info will help us know when the toad has filled up. And we just continue this process. So as you've seen, one tree fills 71 liters or 71 units and 23%. So we're going to have to go through a little more than four trees to fill up an entire tote. Again, we just continue this process until we have filled up all of our totes. And then I'll bring you right back. All right, so here we are. We now have five filled containers of apples, and we have gone through 
three rows. So three rows of. Uh, let's see how many trees we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six trees. And then we've done one, two, three more trees. So six, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, and a little bit of this tree. So it does take a fair number of trees to fill up these five coats. And now what we're going to do is, well, make some apple juice. Let's see what we got going on here. So it's right click left and right to open and close the forks. And then what we want to do is take, take our load of apples in here. We need to enter our juice master. We need to unfold our juice master. We need to open the lid on our juice master within. Then we need to get a barrel. And we need to place the barrel here on its side with the cork or the bung hole is as it's called placed here like so and we will place our apples over and you'll see now they are transferred into the juice master. So once we have our apples in our juice master, we need to enter our juice master. We need to turn it on with enter. And in theory, we would close the lid, but we're gonna leave it open so we can see what happens. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on with B. And as you see, we are now squeezing our apples into apple juice. It's going to take about 30 seconds of processing time to squeeze our apples into apple juice. And we're going to end up with 300 units of apple juice. There we go, we now have apple juice and we can do overloading. We hit I and take a look here on the side at the barrel. Our little probe extends and we are now dispensing. And we can turn that off. That was with B. We're now dispensing apple juice into our barrel. So you see object info is showing our barrel filling up with apple juice. Apple juice is emptying out of our juice master. And then at this point we pick up our barrel and we can place this now on our trailer for the next leg of its journey. Now, I am going to simply repeat this process one more time so you all can watch it. And then I'm going to do it all by myself for the rest of the orchard and see how many of these bear how many of these barrels I can fill up with apple juice. So we take our apples over to our juice master with the lid open. 
empty the apples into the juice master. We can B to start compressing the juice. Then we can get our barrel ready if we want to do it that way. Just to give us something to do while it is compressing in the juice. Then we want to enter it again so we can then overload into our barrel. So now we are overloading into our barrel. And while we went on that, we could just go ahead and get another crate of apples. And we're just going to keep repeating this process until we have either collected all of the apples in the orchard or filled up all of our barrels with apple juice. Now, if you're one looking for the easy way out, you can always enable super strength. Just walk around through the apple orchard and just fill each individual big box by yourself. So as you see, as we get closer to the tree, we have start filling. We just hit R. And there we go. So we're back here at the farm. It took most of the trees over in that orchard to fill up all our barrels. And look at what we have here. We have an apple tree right here by the chicken area. Now there may be other fruit trees scattered around the map, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd point out this apple tree. And we're gonna take a look at the other orchard in a wee little bit. Pick up this little box, take it over here, and <laughs> toss it. Anyway, just like we do with the other boxes, we walk up to the tree, we hit R, and we fill it up. There we have 39 units of apples. There's probably maybe a few more on there, but we can take this over here to the farm shop, I think. There we go, $59 for a box of apples. Now on the truck here, we have our barrels of apple juice. And we have two large totes of apples. We're going to take these large totes of apples over to the distiller. But I wanted to show you what we can do with this apple juice. So if we pick up the barrel and walk it over here. So we have our farmhouse, and then we have this door right here by the garage. Well, this door takes us down to our cellar. So we just walk over there, boom. And now it is down in the cellar. I'm gonna put a couple of these barrels down there, and then we'll go down the cellar and we'll talk about what is, what is down there. So one more. Just for demonstration purposes. All right, now to get into the cellar, we walk up to the door, we hit R. Now we are in our dungeon. Dun, 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 dungeon. So down here in our dungeon cellar. I think we can turn lights on. There we go. How's that? So down here in our cellar, we have some racks. Now, if we walk up to this rack, we can see that we have three barrels, 900 units of apple juice. And this will, over time, convert to apple wine. And we can hold 16 barrels of apple wine. Now, over here, we have a rack that will store... 36 barrels of apple wine just for storage. 
Okay, so we have apple wine fermenting or production. And then we have apple wine storage over here. Well, that is not the only thing we can store down here in the cellar. And obviously store some nasty, nasty old mattress. But look here, look up in the F1 menu. We have storage right here. We can store dog food, wood shavings, potato sacks, and wood chip sacks. All here at this storage rack in the cellar. So let's go ahead and make our way back out of the cellar. We come up to the door. We hit R to leave the cellar. And let's go talk about the other orchard, okay? So the other orchard is up here by the sheep. And these are both buyable areas. We need to buy the areas before we can collect the fruit. And unlike other mods, other fruit tree mods, these trees don't require anything. They don't require any sort of input. They just over time produce fruit. So the key is that you basically leave them be, let them grow. And just like the animal fat, just like the used vegetable oil, just like the spent grain, these will eventually produce fruit and they'll eventually reproduce fruit so let's see here. this is apple tree apple tree here we have a pear tree there we are filling up with pears out of a pear tree and like I said this orchard has kind of a mix of apples and pears. Mostly apples, I believe. So let's go ahead and go up to the distillery. The distillery is up here past, past the farm. We turn before we get to the breeding pigs. And then we come up past the sheep area, past the skinner, and then we have the distillery. Open 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. So here we are at the distillery. Nice barrel on the outside. And what we do is we just loop around. And the cell point is over here at the dock where this guy is standing. So there we go, we sold apple juice and apples and pears. Now, I'll be straight up with you. I was not expecting the barrels to go away. It kind of makes sense that they go away because these are not the type of barrels that you can, uh, you know, re reuse, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, I was a little surprised that they went away. So let's go and take this one barrel. Thank gosh, we got that. I want to take this one barrel over here to the village shop and see if it vanishes on me. Then we'll come back to the main farm, 
fast forward time and, uh, well, see what to do with our apple wine. But you can see our green, big green tubs and our wooden box is still here. So it is forever reusable. Here we are at the village Chape. Was I mistaken? Does he not take apple juice? No, the village shop does. There we go. $610 for a barrel of apple juice. I mean, seriously, that's not that bad of an investment, right? We need to deliver one meter log to the cooper to make the barrel. Then we need to own an apple tree or apple trees to get the apples for free. We don't have to put anything into them. We have to own the apple juicer, the fruit juicer, which isn't that expensive. And then we basically need to uh, put the apple juice in the barrel. It's pretty easy money. Pretty easy money, if you ask me. So we are once again down at the cellar. Let's go ahead and speed up the clock. Now we can see we have a barrel spawn. We are making wine. It is now 6 p.m. That wine barrel is nearly full. We have a second barrel. It's over midnight. It's morning, 6 a.m. Now we have our third barrel. Six PM. All right, there we go. So basically we now have three barrels of apple wine. It has been about a day and a half, I guess. And we can take this and put this in our storage rack. Just like there, and you can see we have three barrels out of 36. We can spawn all three. Let's go see where they went. Did they spawn up, up here, outside? There they are. There's our three wine barrels. So I'm going to go ahead and load these on the truck. And then I'm going to go to bed and we will take these over to the church in the morning. Good morning, virtual farmers. We are loaded with three barrels of apple wine. We're going to make a church parishioner, parishioner very, very happy, I do believe. Let's head on down to the church. I told him that we were going to be coming with his wine that he can then bless. So they will have 
plenty of wine for all of their services. And that, I mean, that is pretty much in a nutshell. Apples, pears, how you collect them, what you use to collect them, where they are. And there might be other apple and pear trees scattered around. I don't know. I just know where those are. That is how you take apples and squeeze them into apple juice. We've already seen how we make barrels to store the apple juice and then how we take the apple juice and we can sell it we can sell the raw pears and apples should we so wish and then we could take our apple juice put it in the cellar let it sit for a little bit convert it into good old apple wine deliver it down here to the guy around back and seven hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I think that guy's been drinking a little bit too much of his holy wine. So let me know in the comments what do you think of the apple pears, apple juice, and apple wine video. What do you think of the production elements here on Hoff Bergman? If there are elements that we have not covered to date, let me know. And uh, we will try to get to them tomorrow. We are going to be looking at greenhouses, vegetables, tomatoes, green peppers, black peppers, and cabbages or lettuce. And until next time, happy farming.